What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. So I finally found it, and the thing is about the goldfish, I figured out how the goldfish work. The goldfish take you to checkpoints, and if you don't physically dock inside the place that they're around, so for example, that's why it was trying to take me back to Daybreak. So you go back to Daybreak, and it just sits there until you dock with Daybreak, then it calculates the next position you're supposed to go to from Daybreak to your next objective. I was thinking it was just taking me back to Daybreak, which I was like, why are you doing this? In addition, the goldfish have this tendency to like go straight into walls and stuff like that. That can also throw you for a loop. I actually found this place more or less on accident because the goldfish, they jumped into the wall back there as I was coming in here. But this is the Sonar Guild, so we should be able to get our Morse radio. We should be able to get our Morse radio, and once we've got that, we'll go talk to the dude that allow us to go down to 2,000 fathoms or whatever it was. Let's see what's going on here. I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty excited about this. Alright, so Sonar Guild. Sonar Officer Allison Hostrovar. Why do you look like you should be working in Santa's workshop? She's so disdainful, though. Look at that look, man. That girl looking at me like I just farted or something. I'm the president of the Sonar Guild Journeyman Society. What's it to you? You know Gregory? Oh, Hudson. Did you make my receiver components yet? I have... No. Look, I'm feeling generous today, so I'm not going to flush you out the airlock just yet, but... Hey, lady, you ought to do you a favor and pull that stick out of your backside. And what are you, his lame-ass sidekick? I could smoke you where you sit. Whatever. He didn't say no when I told him to do my work. Why don't you uh, get your bony ass out of my gill before I slap that smug face of yours? Cat, let's just go. It's not worth it. Man. With friends like that, huh? With friends like that. So we've got a perception pendant right there and a SOCOM guild chart. I will take that. Are you part of the sonar team? No, and don't get me involved in this. If I don't complete my course, I'll be spending my life scrubbing decks. I keep my head down to avoid becoming a target myself. Is that so wrong? Eh, you know, it's pretty wrong. I mean, you gotta stand up for people who are being oppressed and whatnot. You gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. Is Allison in charge around here? While Master Far steers away, she bullies the rest of us into doing her work for her, although she hasn't really tried anything since I accidentally rigged her first project to melt once she switched the power on. See, there you go. Oh, a Morse radio. Hooray, we found it. So we've got our Morse radio. That means that we need to head our asses back. Uh, where is Master Farsteer? It'll be at Spurious City. He works with the Royals in exchange for funds and rare materials for our guild's research. But it also means we're not getting the supervision we need. And why does Allison hate Gregory? She's envious. Farsteer gives him special lessons because he's a year ahead of her, despite him being the same age. Oh. So it's just like a jealousy thing. I thought maybe she liked him, but he didn't like her back, so... Got what we need. Back to Hasley. And where's that again? We've got to go to Tunnisburg, yeah. I know where we need to go in Tunnisburg, so let's just head back to Tunnisburg. I think I still vaguely know my way out of here. Like, I know the way that I came in, so working my way out shouldn't be... He said as he was turned around. Okay, never mind then. There we go. We want to go towards Glacialburg. And so let's get this boat moving. Sometimes I find that throwing it into overdrive helps get the ship moving faster. And then you just kind of soak it. I do wish the ships moved a little bit quicker. Although I will point out that the ship I played through with my personal playthrough, the one that's on the right-hand side, was really, really fast. This ship just appears to be the slow one, and we kind of lucked out and picked the shitty one, I guess. It does shoot in every direction, though, so that's a bonus. The other one that I was using could only shoot backwards, which made... It made fighting really, really difficult considering the ship turns towards whatever direction your mouse is facing. So that makes tailgunning very, very difficult. And in fact, I think they should probably come up with an alternate control set for ships like that. Because it just makes it feel like you're going around in circles over and over and over again. The abandoned drill house up there. You know, I'm not really that interested. I just kind of want to get this done while I'm getting it done. So... I think I need to go back this way and then cut this left corner. This is kind of like a little maze area, in case you were wondering. It is really easy to miss stuff over here. Sincerely, it is. It's also really, really easy to get lost in these little balloon things. The game seems to really, really enjoy obstructing your view line. Whether it be with ridiculously foggy water, or whether it be with like this kind of stuff. You spend a lot of time not being able to see in this game. Alright, so I'll refill the air tanks once we get to Glacialburg. 
or whatever the hell that is. I think it's called Glacial Berg or something like that. We also need to buy food. I didn't realize we were low on food for right now, and so in order to keep the crew happy, I'd like to have vittles around just in case. I wonder if we get, like, a boarding action or something later, because there's, like, a rope tension mechanic, and I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, we found our way back to here. Never mind. Shit. Okay, so I want to go back this way. Let's dive down to the bottom. And there should be a busted ship over here if I'm going the right way. There it is, right there. And staying near the bottom of this area might be a little bit more helpful. Banded drill house over there. Glacial Berg should be to the northwest. Is that the same ship that I just looked at a minute ago, or is that a different spot? I think that's a different spot. I don't know, though. Let's go have a look and see. Looks like a house that's underwater. When you look at it from the side, it seems like it's just like a Victorian that fell through, or like a colonial that fell through the ground. Yeah, and then somebody planted like a research thing on top of it. Okay, so if I'm going to the northeast... This should be followed by a northwest, if I'm going the right way. There we go, I finally found my way out. This area is kind of confusing. I don't like going down in here, which is one of the reasons why we missed, actually, we missed the sonar guild the last time we were down here. We missed it by a long shot because that area is a little bit, uh, a little bit sketchy. A little bit of navigation required. I'll see you guys once we get back to, uh, Tonisburg. The Vehicle Engineering Guild approach is also known as the Veg. We're on our way to the Veg. Ah, oh, what are you doing, vegging out? You know, making subs dive deeper. That's not, that seems like really work intensive. I don't know how I feel about that. If I could not be caught inside of a current, that would also be cool. Damn it, these currents. These currents have just been eating me alive. It took me like eight minutes to get back to here because we had like a, a current that was going the opposite direction that I was traveling the whole time so I gotta keep going up and down to get around it. It's just like, leave me alone. All I want to do is turn in my quest. <laughs> That's all I want to do and you guys are so mean to me. The ocean is just not kind. It's just being a douche. Now the vehicle, we're on our way to the veg though. I'm also probably gonna see if I can stop in somewhere to resupply. We don't have a lot of food right now. So the availability of a vendor would probably be a smart thing to get on board with. Mm, is there a vendor here? Is there somebody that wants to sell me some stuff? So, Oh, there is. Good. I don't know if she was here last time. She might be bugged. Either that or she maybe won't let us do anything until we talk to him. That's fine. Let's talk to him then. Blackberry's been removed. Um, but Gran, I was just trying to, uh, what pack of lies have you been feeding this poor captain? Do you even consider what your actions, that your actions get the crew killed? And you led them to believe that the vessel you built can withstand more than it's actually capable of? I can get them down there. With time and training, yeah, but for now, you're on cleaning duty until I say you can go back to the workshop. Ugh. Look, we don't have the resources to get you down to a thousand meters. While Jonathan is very skilled, his designs simply do not go beyond 500. Regardless, a deal is a deal. So if I can upgrade this right here, we've got the scrap metal, we've got the engine parts, we've got the reinforced plate. Upgrade him. Oh cool, it gets bigger and more intricate. Oh, we're a lionfish now, so that explains it. They look the same, but they're like upgrade paths with each other. I want a different ship. If I could get a ship that's faster, I'd be a lot happier. So, uh, you have any other subs? Our current line of subs, the Glacium series, is the fastest in the sea. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Do I have to do the quest again, though, if I wanted to get a Glacium? Oh, it looks like I do. So, I've got a lionfish that'll go down to 500. I'd have to go farm out more... Oh, dude, I would love to... It's got two bolt cannons, but we've got four bolt cannons. Oh, we have a torpedo tube now, too. 
That's pretty sweet. Max crew is 12. We got 25 HP. Max speed is 11 meters per second. Which actually, if you think about it, is pretty fast. It's just that, like, with the immensity of the place that we're hanging out in right now. Uh, what now? Well, if you're looking for work, the drill site is always in need of capable crews. Take this letter to Director Armostrong. In return, I do hope that we have an understanding about how embarrassing it would be should anyone else hear about my grandson's little indiscretion. Alright, take the letter of introduction. It will get us places, apparently. And she doesn't appear to actually have anything she can vend out. So we're going somewhere else, and our ship does look a little different. Hey, what torpedo guy? Back at Tonisburg Courtyard, he said he was a torpedo officer. I mean, we have this fancy ship with torpedo tubes. We might as well have an officer to use them. Torpedoes will give us a major advantage in combat. Just don't dip into my drink budget buying them. You know, I don't think you get to make that call. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm the captain. And I make the call about where the drink budget goes. I mean, sometimes drink budget gotta get spent on explosives. It's just more fun that way. There we go. Finally got out of that nasty little riptide thing that's going around. We really going to the drill site? Got one person fixing the ship. You know how to get there? Yeah, I mean, every guild member knows about it. So he'll light it up for us. In the meantime, what is she good at? She has three endurance, which means she's probably pretty good at... Yeah, give us a little bit more engine power. Make us a tad faster. Why not? If I can pick up more crew members along the way, I'm definitely not going to turn up my nose at it. That's because my nose is notoriously inflexible, though. It's not because I don't want to. It's just that it hurts. I've got a lot of cartilage. I'm all cartilaged out. I think this lady, the Kraken of Savings. What's Kraken? Nope, I don't really want to buy a wooden charm. Another creeper would be great, though. I don't know if I could have multiples of them. It says I can get four cannons, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's sell some fossils. We'll make a little bit of cash there. I'm going to keep the torpedoes from now on. We'll sell that off. I am going to keep the engine parts. I am going to keep the plating, because if we could get into a faster ship, I think I'd be a lot happier. I think the speed of my ship leaves something to be desired right now. Air tank is tempting at that price. We need food, though. Food first. Yeah, 40 food's good. That keeps us stocked up for a little while. This relaxes your crew members. I don't know what that means. Like, maybe it makes it so you last longer when you run out of food? We also could use some serious scrap, so I'm going to take 100 scrap right there just so we have a little bit of extra ammunition when we go into combat. Aside from that, I don't know if I should take the wood charm or not. I can afford it right now, but I don't know if it's a wise choice. And we needed to go up to the courtyard and pick up this guy. And this guy you actually get right at the beginning if you take one of the other ships. Close down the compass. This one does feel a tiny bit faster than the one that was before. So maybe we got a little bit of speed out of there too. I'm hoping we get to keep all of our ships. It said swap in that menu. So I'm hoping that like... Oh, they say the same things here. Okay, never mind. Let's go grab this guy. Hopefully he is okay with those. are huge dog tags. Those things seem like they would be very, very... It seems like they would be really, really good for the promotion of neck muscles. I'm still looking for a torpedo officer. Oh, so you got an upgrade then. You know how much of a demand there is for a man of my skills? But we need torpedoes. Mm, look, I need to get to the Fountain of Honor and Sunken Coast area. I'll come with you up until then, but only because I need a lift. You got it? All right, so we got ourselves a torpedo specialist now. Very nice. So with the torpedo specialist, yeah, I'd like to learn about torpedoes. I don't recall exactly how to fire torpedoes. There's like a button. It's like space bar or something like that. Listen up, mate. A torpedo can only launch if it has a target. You can only target something if the sonar is tracking it. Got it? No sonar, no torpedoes. Move the reticle over a target, lock, and then fire away. Torpedoes home in on the target, but they're not perfect. The more crew in this station, the less likely the torpedo is to fail. Sounds good to me. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it was right mouse that we click and hold. Okay, so there you go. That's how we lock on with a torpedo. Let's follow the golden fishies wherever it is that we want to go. 
Is that a... That's a backwards current. That's going to take me in the opposite of the direction I want to go. So we'll just dive straight through that for now. Yeah, I do feel like this ship's a little bit faster. I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel like we're moving a bit more rapidly. So maybe the upgrade actually upgrades everything about all of the ships you have going on. So from here it wants us to dive down this way. Let me throw out a ping just in case there's pirates around because you never know. Exactly. There's a pirate over here. Well... Yeah, I was going to say fire a torpedo at his ass just because it's entertaining. Oof, knocked him out quick. Let's see if he's got any loot that I want. They always have loot that I want. That's the fun part about being an anti-pirate. Is that they've always got things that I want. Like that torpedo right there. It replaces the one that I fired and failed. It's kind of like plug and play. It's fire and fail. All of my torpedoes are fire and fail approved. They got a little sticker on them that says F and F. Fire and fail. I'm like, well, we did build this out of scrap metal that we found at the bottom of the ocean, so... Things to keep in mind. Where... Did my indicator go? It disappeared on me. Is it going to come back at any point? So there's a bunch of crippled ships over here. It does look like there was some kind of fight. Oh, yeah, we can dive way deeper now, too. I don't have to worry about that 200-foot crush depth any longer. Well, we might as well take a look, since they went to the effort of killing each other for us. Maybe we get ourselves some free stuff over here. Hey, you want to join up? I notice you have a big badass knife. Uh, she's 22. Actually, she's really, really good, and she's really, really cheap. I'll take her. Absolutely. Great character. Normally, characters that good, to be that price, they have to have, like, some kind of negative stat, basically. And we had another ship around here. Yeah, there's the Glacium right there. We are down. A thing to take note of is that we are absolutely down an air tank right now, so we'll want to find a place to dock before too long, too. Maybe I'll go to, uh, maybe I'll go over to, to Ice Merchant. That seems all right. A little bit of cash right there. Oh, yeah, if you're trying to sell your stuff, sell it to Traveling Merchants. Traveling Merchants so far have been giving me the best prices. I figured that out while I was spending some time looking around for Tommel Doll or whatever. And you notice how the place that was actually Tommel Doll was not called Tommel Doll. It was called the Sonar Guild. It's just like, wow, there are a lot of pirates around here. We're going to have our work cut out for us. I don't know who I want to go up against first. All right, ping him. We'll go full speed. Yeah, one shot at his ass. I'm perfectly fine. Put a torpedo on his punk ass. Oh, I probably should not be docking right now. This is a mistake. I should not be doing this. This is a mistake. But yeah, I like these uh, Glacium ships. These Glacium ships, the thing that I... Whoa, we got like machine guns now. However, it is using a fleck. So that's a little bit worrying. Why is it using a fleck? Did it not transfer over the $7,000 gun that I bought? Or can I swap in between the guns? I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out too. So as far as that's concerned, my creeper's still in there. wonder how I get it to use the creeper. So it's only using the fleck right now. How do I get it to swap over to the creeper? Hmm, there's got to be a button that I don't know about somewhere. It's probably a hotkey that I can swap the equipped, or the equipped weapons, but the fleck works great up close. I just don't like the range on it. The range makes me nervous. Uh, this lady gives you crap prices, so I'm going to wait till I find a traveling merchant. And now that we're here...
Kind of looks like it wants us to go upwards. I don't know about none of that, though. So we got our trail back. All you really have to do to get your trail back is normally... Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's doing right there. Seems to be doing something odd with the pathfinding. Let's dive down. We've never had the opportunity to go down below 200 meters before, so... I want to see what's down here. There's an ancient shipwreck down here. Well, shit, yeah, man. Seems like a bit of a waste not to go after something like that. What the hell is that? Oh my good lord. It's like a critter thing. I don't think it's friendly either. To me, it does not look exceptionally happy. Oh my god, it has laser cannons. We killed it, though. A dead drone. Do we board its body? Like, it looks biological. Oh, it fills our air tank, so that's cool. What? Looks a little alien. Looks a little alien. Alright, so let's dive, because that thing was trying to get away from us by going up. There's an ancient shipwreck down here. There's also an icer shipwreck. Okay. Let's go after the ancient wreck. I don't know if we can get down that deep, but we're going to try. We're really, really getting close to our crush depth, though. Or no, we can go down to 500. Never mind. So does the ancient shipwreck just get, like, added onto our charts, maybe? No, but it counts as a save point, which is weird. Okay. Normally only, like, cities and stuff count as save points, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't see any board points on the shipwreck, so I don't think we're going to be able to use that. I'm going to try with the icer shipwreck, though. What's an icer? I don't know what an icer is. That's the other half of this that's a little... I guess it's somebody that harvests ice from down here. The engine's still running. Ooh, this guy had some good stuff on board. Hell yeah, let's get us paid. Let's get us paid right now. So the ancient shipwreck. And there's like a drill house on the opposite side. Alright, so now we're getting somewhere. We're kind of in the creepy crawly territory now. We just fought with some weird biological creature and murdered its face off like a badass. Man. I think I'll probably stop right here, but I am really, really interested in seeing where this all goes. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode of Deluvion. We'll see what happens in future episodes. There's definitely... Now that we can dive down deeper, we're starting to see some of the more creepy crawly shit. That much is very, very apparent. You know, oh, he's got himself a, he's got himself like a Fantasia blanket. He's got a spring-loaded bed. Wonder what function that has. Maybe I shouldn't ask. My name is Swatacat, this is Deluvion. I will see you all next time we join together, probably tomorrow. Hi to everybody, and I will see you all there. Bye-bye.